Why does China have so many billion dollar apps? What makes them different from the ones in the West? China isn't just making popular apps. It's creating super apps that dominate everyday life. WeChat isn't just a messaging app. It's a digital wallet, shopping hub, ride-hailing service, and even a place to book doctor appointments, all in one. And that's just one example. But how did this happen? Is it because of government policies, business strategies, or the massive number of users? The answer is a mix of all three. In this video, we'll break down how China became the king of billion-dollar apps. We'll explore the country's unique tech ecosystem, how companies innovate under pressure, and why the apps are built differently from Western ones. By the end, you'll understand why China's app industry is growing at lightning speed and why the rest of the world is struggling to keep up. China has built an app industry that's worth trillions of dollars. But here's the crazy part. Most of these apps don't exist in the West. Think about it. The most used app in China isn't WhatsApp, Instagram, or Google Pay. It's WeChat, an app that does everything. Need to pay for groceries? WeChat. Want to book a taxi? WeChat. Ordering food? Also WeChat. So why does China have so many billion dollar apps? And why do we see this kind of super app culture in the US or Europe? It's not just luck. There are clear reasons why Chinese apps dominate, from government support to business models that don't exist elsewhere. In this video, we'll break down the secrets behind China's tech success and how it's changing the global app industry. Stick around as you won't look at your apps the same way again. Evolution and growth of Chinese apps. China's app industry didn't just explode overnight. It was built over years of rapid innovation and competition. Back in the early 2000s, China was mostly copying Western tech. Apps like Weibo were China's version of Twitter, and Renrin was like Facebook. But that changed fast. Instead of just copying, Chinese companies started creating apps that fit their own market better than anything from the West. A big turning point was the rise of mobile-first technology. While the West was still focused on computers, China skipped the PC era and jumped straight into smartphones. This created a huge demand for mobile apps, leading to giants like WeChat, Alipay, and TikTok. By the 2010s, Chinese apps weren't just big in China, they were taking over the world. TikTok, for example, became the most downloaded app globally in 2021. Meanwhile, Alibaba and JD.com turned e-commerce into a trillion-dollar industry, with shopping festivals like Singles Day making more sales than Black Friday and Cyber Monday combined. Another game-changer? Super apps. Instead of using five different apps for payments, messaging, and shopping, Chinese users got everything in one place. WeChat and Alipay became one-stop solutions for daily life making them impossible to replace. The competition was fierce. Companies had to innovate fast or die out. New ideas, features, and business models were constantly tested, pushing Chinese apps ahead of the rest of the world. And with a massive population of over 1.4 billion people, these apps had a built-in customer base ready to spend. But there was another key factor that made this growth possible, the Chinese government's role in shaping the tech landscape government policy and economic environment. China's government played a huge role in helping its tech companies grow. Unlike in the US, where companies compete with little government support, China's tech giants had backing from the state. One of the biggest advantages, protection from foreign competition. Companies like Google, Facebook, and Twitter are banned in China. This gave local companies the space to dominate the market without worrying about global giants taking over. The government also invested billions into tech infrastructure. Cities like Shenzhen became tech hubs, attracting top engineers and entrepreneurs. Cheap internet, massive smartphone adoption, and government funding helped startups scale fast. Another major factor, a cashless economy. The Chinese government pushed for digital payments, making cash nearly useless in major cities. This led to the rise of Alipay and WeChat Pay, turning them into must-have apps for everyone in China. The government also supported a big data and 5G development, which gave Chinese apps an edge. For example, TikTok's algorithm is one of the smartest in the world, partly because of China's AI and research investments. But government policies weren't just about growth, they also meant control. Apps in China follow strict regulations and censorship rules. Companies had to work with the government to stay in business. Despite these controls, the Chinese app industry boomed under this system. 
The government's support, combined with fast innovation and a massive user base, helped China create some of the most powerful apps in the world. But Chinese tech success isn't just about government support. It's also about how businesses operate differently compared to the West. And that's what we'll explore next. Innovation and Technology Strategies China's app industry isn't just big, it's also one of the most innovative in the world. While Western apps often focus on one main feature, Chinese apps take a different approach. They combine multiple services into one powerful platform. Take WeChat, for example. It started as just a messaging app like WhatsApp. But today, you can use it to pay bills, book tickets, shop online, order food, and even get medical consultations, all without leaving the app. This super app model is something Western companies are now trying to copy. Another reason Chinese apps lead in innovation, they experiment fast. In China, new features are tested on millions of users almost instantly. Companies collect huge amounts of data to see what works and what doesn't. This fast feedback loop helps them improve quickly. AI and big data are huge factors too. Apps like TikTok, Douyin in China, Use some of the smartest AI algorithms in the world. Instead of showing content from people you follow, TikTok's algorithm learns exactly what you like and gives you videos that keep you hooked. This is why people spend hours scrolling without realizing it. E-commerce apps have also revolutionized shopping. Instead of boring product pages, Chinese apps use live streaming and short videos to sell products. On Taobao Live, influencers promote items in real time and viewers can buy instantly. This strategy helped Alibaba make over $84 billion in just one day during Singles Day 2021. China's mobile payment system is another big innovation. Unlike in the West, where credit cards are still common, China skipped straight to digital payments. Apps like Alipay and WeChat Pay use QR codes for everything, making transactions super fast. And it doesn't stop there. China is leading in 5G, AI, and cloud computing which will make its apps even more powerful in the future. But one of the biggest reasons Chinese apps succeed isn't just their technology, it's how they dominate the market and keep users hooked. That's what we'll explore next. Market Dynamics and User Behavior China's app market is one of the most competitive in the world. Companies don't just create apps, they fight to keep users engaged 24 7 One reason for this is how Chinese people use their phones. In China, smartphones are everything. They replace cash, credit cards, computers, and even TVs. The average Chinese user spends over five hours a day on their phone. Compared to around four hours in the US, this means app companies have a huge opportunity to grab attention. Another big factor, super aggressive competition. There are thousands of tech companies in China, all trying to become the next big thing. If an app doesn't grow fast, it dies. This is why Chinese companies spend billions on marketing, promotions, and discounts to attract users. But it's not just about spending money. Chinese users also love interactive and social experiences. That's why apps like Pinduoduo became popular. Instead of just shopping, it lets users team up with friends to get discounts. The more people join, the lower the price. This gamified shopping model has helped Pinduoduo reach over 750 million users. Live streaming is another trend that completely changed online shopping. Unlike in the West, where people just scroll through product listings, Chinese users watch live shopping shows on apps like Taobao and Douyin. In 2022, live stream shopping in China made over $500 billion. That's more than the entire e-commerce market of most countries. But it's not just shopping. Even education, entertainment, and social media apps use engagement tricks to keep users hooked. This obsession with user experience is why Chinese apps grow so fast. And speaking of growth, what does the future hold for China's billion-dollar apps? Let's find out in the final section. Future Outlook and Global Influence Chinese apps aren't just dominating their home market. They're taking over the world. Apps like TikTok, Shane, and Temu are now global giants, competing directly with US and European companies. One reason for this global success is China's unique approach to technology. Instead of just copying Western ideas, Chinese companies now set new trends. TikTok, for example, changed how people consume short videos, forcing Instagram and YouTube to launch their own versions, reels and shorts. Another key factor, low-cost, high-quality products Apps like Shane and Temu sell products at unbeatable prices, 
using China's massive manufacturing industry to ship directly to customers. Shan alone made $30 billion in 2023, putting pressure on brands like Zara and H&M. Looking ahead, China's next big move is AI-powered apps and global expansion. Companies like ByteDance and Tencent are investing billions in AI-driven content, personalized recommendations, and even virtual influencers. Plus, Chinese apps are entering new markets in Southeast Asia, Latin America, and Africa, bringing their low-cost, high-tech business model to millions more users. With their rapid innovation, aggressive expansion, and deep understanding of user behavior, Chinese apps are set to shape the future of tech worldwide. So why does China have so many billion-dollar apps? A perfect mix of factors, government support, fierce competition, non-stop innovation, and a smartphone-obsessed population. These companies move faster than anyone else, constantly adapting and creating new trends instead of following them. And this is just the beginning. With AI, e-commerce, and social media evolving, Chinese apps will continue reshaping the digital world, whether the West is ready or not. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the biggest trends in tech. See you in the next one.